She's back. The 150 is back. So I rode this bike last weekend with the stock Makuni and dude, I was just so frustrated with how the bike was running. The jetting was exactly what the jetting chart tells me it should be, but it was just running like poop. It had no bottom end, it was sputtery. <laughs> That jetting, that hesitation, that blah, 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 it's pissing me off. So Electron sent me their uh, new Billitron 38 Pro Series to test out. I'm really, really excited to try this thing. Look at this piece of beauty. Look at this machinery right here. They made a bunch of changes to the Billitron and uh, titled it the Pro Series. I don't know exactly all the things that are different to it. I'm not an engineer. I'm just gonna test it go out for the first ride here and tell you guys what I think. I want to disclose that they did send it to me. I didn't pay anything for this, but I am going to give you my honest thoughts and reviews because they did not pay me to talk nicely about it. So if I don't like it, I'll tell you, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. Look at that. First kick starts right up. No choke or anything. Right off the bat, it idles. No problem. Idles like a dream. I have made no adjustments to this thing. I pulled it out of the box, I put it on the bike, and I'm just gonna go ride it. Oh baby! We're smoking, we're burning oil, you know how it is. Let's get this thing on the track. <laughs> this guy says, no, I wanna follow you. You don't know what you just got yourself into, buddy. Oh, bottom end? Are you kidding me? Bottom end on a two-stroke? Dude, this thing is so light. Oh, I got like no brakes. Not used to that. again dude holy crap what am I doing well my first lap is already like sketchy as hell oh look at those lights It is unbuckled, so I gotta get off the track and buckle this thing real quick. Two stroke front end likes to come up easy, man. Oh my god, it pulls so hard from the bottom. Alright, so we're gonna lug it. We just lugged a 150 through that corner. Dude, this thing's fast. Like, this thing rips harder than my YZ250F, I think. Oh, wrong gear. Shift up through there. A little strung out. Jesus. how fast this thing is. This is
messing up my shift. Like everywhere, I'm too high. I think I'm too high in gear most places. It's gonna take me so long to get used to keeping it revved out. Like I am all over the freaking place on this thing. I feel bad for the guy trying to ride behind. Oh, it's Taylor. super mechanically inclined I have faith that you can install one of these no problem I'm not the best mechanic and I can do this thing like probably at the track in 30 minutes swap carbs you take the seat off you take these swing arm bolts off down here you loosen these and then I just tilt the swing arm a little bit pull the old carb out you put the new carb in you can do this in less than an hour it's a really easy swap Let's try not to ride like an absolute idiot this session. I felt like I had no idea what I was doing on the track my last session around. Gotta get used to this two-stroke again, man. I'm not very good at switching back and forth between riding a four-stroke and a two-stroke off and on. the power comes on. And without engine braking, I'm like flying over these jumps too far. This track, I am so concentrated. I'm trying not to die. It's hard for me to talk about the bike and the carb and how it makes it feel. Like, I'm going so fast over that jump. I feel like I'm OJ. That was good. Shifted at the right time. I gotta remind myself on the two shark, I gotta shift way more too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
it's definitely got that usable bottom end power. Because I can lug this thing around the track. I don't have to rev it out. So my GoPro ended up dying this day and I didn't get to film an outro for this video, but I wanted to give a few closing remarks about the bike and the new Lectron Billitron 38 Pro Series carburetor that I was testing. Overall, I can't recommend it enough. The power has been completely transformed with this new Lectron carburetor. It has an awesome, smooth, no hesitation roll on all the way from the bottom end, the mid range, all the way up to the top end. It absolutely 100% feels faster everywhere. Like absolutely, I have more usable bottom end than I ever did before. Which I think you heard in the video, I was saying how fast it felt. When I got this thing on the pipe, it felt so fast that I was like over jumping some of the jumps on the track. But anyway, I am super, super happy and satisfied with this car for the first day of testing. And I'm excited to do some more testing on it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you have any comments, thoughts, questions, please leave them in the comments section down below. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Peace.